The Radical Faith of St. Francis of Assisi, A Journey of Humility, Compassion, Divine Purpose, and Enduring Impact. Francis of Assisi, born in 1181, 82 to a wealthy cloth merchant and noblewoman, lived a life initially filled with privilege and youthful exuberance. His father, Pietro, was a prosperous businessman, while his mother, Lady Pica, was thought to have French roots. Upon his birth, Francis was named Giovanni, but his father, in admiration of French culture, renamed him Francesco. This early association with wealth, education, and culture set Francis on a path of worldly pleasures, where he led his peers in a life of ease, excitement, and dreams of knighthood. However, Francis's journey took an unexpected turn. After being held captive for nearly a year during a war between Assisi and Perugia, he fell gravely ill, which began his slow but profound transformation. A critical moment came in 1205, when, on his way to join the papal forces, he experienced a vision that redirected his life toward a higher calling. Francis returned to Assisi and sought solitude in prayer, longing to understand God's will for his life. Several experiences follow, each drawing him closer to his ultimate mission. While on a pilgrimage to Rome, Francis embraced poverty, mingling with beggars at St. Peter's Basilica. But the most decisive moment occurred when, while praying at the ruined chapel of San Damiano, he heard Christ speak to him through the crucifix, saying, Go, Francis, and repair my house, which, as you see, is falling into ruin. This literal command prompted Francis to take action immediately. He sold his father's goods to restore the church, angering his father and leading to a public confrontation. In a symbolic act of total surrender, Francis renounced his family's wealth, standing before the bishop and the townspeople, stripped of all his possessions. From that day forward, Francis dedicated himself entirely to God, embracing a life of poverty, humility, and service. Key Moments of Radical Faith in Action Francis's life was marked by key moments of radical faith. He gave up everything to follow Christ's call, becoming a model of evangelical poverty and humility. His choice to embrace the poor, including lepers, whom he initially found repugnant, demonstrated the depth of his transformation. In a famous incident, he not only gave alms to a leper, but kissed his hand, an act that symbolized his complete commitment to the gospel message of love and compassion. In 1209, Francis composed a simple rule for his new order based on Christ's instructions to his disciples. With great humility, Francis sought and received papal approval from Pope Innocent III, officially founding the Franciscan order. His disciples, known as the Friars Minor, embraced a life of poverty, preaching, and service. As their numbers grew, they spread across Italy and beyond, bringing the message of Christ to the people through their lives and actions. Francis's legacy, a mirror of Christ. What makes Francis's story enduring and powerful is his unwavering desire to imitate Christ as closely as possible. He lived a life of radical simplicity, preaching repentance, and embracing all of creation as his brothers and sisters. He once gave a sermon to the birds, capturing his deep sense of connection with nature. Another is his taming of the wolf in Gubbio, showing his ability to bring peace where there was strife. In his later years, Francis experienced a profound mystical vision, receiving the stigmata, the wounds of Christ, on his body, a sign of his deep spiritual union with the suffering Savior. Despite the immense physical pain and blindness that marked his final years, Francis continued to live with joy, humility, and strong faith. Lessons for today, embracing purpose, simplicity, and love. St. Francis's story is not just a tale of one man's journey, it is a blueprint for anyone seeking a life of purpose, simplicity, and love. His actions remind us of the power of humility, the strength found in serving others, 
and the beauty in embracing simplicity. One, let go of material attachments. Francis's renunciation of wealth teaches us the value of letting go of materialism to pursue a higher purpose. Today, in a world driven by consumerism, his life challenges us to seek deeper fulfillment beyond material possessions. Two, compassion for all. Francis's love for the poor, the outcasts, and even animals inspires us to extend kindness and compassion to all beings. In our communities today, there is always an opportunity to serve, uplift, and love those in need. Three, follow your calling, no matter the cost. Francis's unwavering dedication to his divine calling, even in the face of familial and societal opposition, reminds us that following our true purpose often requires sacrifice. But the rewards, peace, joy, and a meaningful life are immeasurable. Four, find God in creation. Francis saw the natural world as a reflection of God's beauty and presence. In today's fast-paced, technology-driven society, reconnecting with nature can offer us a profound sense of peace and spiritual renewal St. Francis' journey from a carefree youth to a saint who lived fully for God is a testament to the transformative power of faith. His life continues to inspire millions to embrace simplicity, humility, and service to others. St. Francis quotes to reflect on, Start by doing what is necessary, then what is possible, and suddenly you are doing the impossible. All the darkness in the world cannot extinguish the light of a single candle. It is no use walking anywhere to preach unless our walking is our preaching. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. St. Francis's life challenges us to live with courage, faith, and love offering us a timeless example of what it means to follow Christ fully and radically. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.